when he came into the presidency, was talking about a common European home, a finding a way of engaging uh, with Europe and then by extension the outside world. That was also an idea of Gorbachev and, uh, and Yeltsin. But over time, he started to become much more fixated on going things alone. The international economic crisis was a big shock uh, to the system back in 2008, 2009. That rocked everything for a while. I think he sees a lot more risk than opportunity right now in what's happening. And frankly, he looks at us from the perspective of the 1990s and sees a debt-ridden, overextended country. Now, you know, we're all arguing about whether you know, this is a fair assessment or not in lots of other settings here. But Putin's pretty cynical about all of the advice from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Cliff's been reading a lot of speeches of Putin, you know, kind of crowing and lording it over, frankly. Um, you know, the uh, rather inept uh, handling of the Eurozone crisis and then the US of its own uh, financial situation, plenty of speeches that he's made in uh, various uh, settings about this. I mean, he actually also sees that, you know, we need to get a grip on our own fiscal uh, mm -hmm. situation uh, mm -hmm. just as he did. And uh, as I was going to say earlier, the people that Putin sees himself as emulating, it's also very interesting, it gets this whole idea of being the statist and the restorationist. He likens himself to people like FDR, who uh, <laughs> presided over you know, a very long span of necessary reform in uh, the United States at the end of the Great Depression and taking, uh, of course, uh, the United States through a really rough period in its history up into World War II. He sees himself like de Gaulle or a Churchill, someone who was restoring uh, the strength of the state. Now, the difference um, uh, between um, you know, Mr. Putin and those um, uh, other world leaders can obviously be debated, but they also, also have something in common. Um, they all stayed on a long time in their positions and probably in many cases stayed on far too long. De Gaulle and, um, and Churchill, as we all know, didn't do quite so well at the very end of their tenure. People got a little tired after the restorationist uh, efforts. Uh, and in fact, they proved not so great at uh, managing the next stage, which was moving onto a different, more sophisticated uh, level of both economic and political interaction. Of course, FDR died in office. Uh, so, I mean, ultimately, asking uh, or answering that question that you asked about, uh, is it really possible to take it on to the next stage? I think even if we look at these other leaders that Putin himself consciously and um, openly compares himself to, we all see that they weren't able to take things on to the next stage because it was a different kind of person, a different kind of life experience was necessary uh, for moving uh, the country on. And I think that's where we are with Russia. Russia's changed dramatically in this last 12 years.